Hi everybody, welcome to this tutorial. Um, today what I would like to do is to go through um, some of the uh, sampler um, looping triggering functions. I covered them quickly in a previous video but I also had um, some feedback that it would be good if I could go a little bit deeper. So um, first of all let's go to the presets and let's choose a a preset, like in this case, one which I previously recorded, Space Synth. Um, and then let's click on the sampler. Okay, here we are. So the controls which I'm referring to are the one on the top left and side of the sampler. So let's go through them. So first of all, just to notice, I have the hold button on at the bottom on the keyboard. Okay just um, for you to remember so starting from the top left the first one as you can see is about the loop mode so when you have uh, the selection which is in red on the first um, part of the group um, the sample loop is actually off so if you press the sample and hold nothing happens apart from that if you click on that again, you have this, the uh, sample loop hold mode. What that means is if you just click on it, on, on the keyboard, if you play the sample on the keyboard, it will play normally. If you touch the keyboard and hold, it will hold where the red um, flags are. You can, of course, move the red flags, like in this case, and try again. Okay, this can be useful if you want to sustain a particular sound. Now, the third option on that group is actually the loop itself. Again, if I click and let go, on the keyboard, that's what will happen. If I click and hold, it will hold on the red flags. But this time you can move the red flags. Here we go. And therefore you can set uh, the loop. Okay, in this case I was holding on the um, uh, C note on the keyboard and the loop was repeating right so let's move it back to uh, loop off let's now let's go through uh, the second um, set of options so the second set of option is about where the loop start so the first selection is about and um, will set the loop to start from the Y flag and, and let's put it actually to have a the loop on. So as you can see, the loop starts from the white flags and then continue uh, repeating starting from the red flag. However, if this is not what you want, you can uh, set the loop starting position from the red flags. And you can adjust it, of course. Okay, let's remove the loop. Right, the next set of options are about where, when the sample is triggered. So in the first case, it's triggered by any keys pressed on the keyboard. Let's try. Okay, quite straightforward. The second option is uh, will trigger, will allow you to trigger the sample only from the first key. As you can see, I'm holding down the first key and pressing on other keys, but the sample is not triggered. Okay, the next um, option for triggering the sample is first key and idle what does that mean so l l let's try so let's click on the c note if i click again on another note it's fine 
However, if I click on an, again after the sample is playing, and if the sample is still playing, then th that will not work. That will not trigger the sample again from the start. It, it will obviously change uh, the key, but it will not trigger the sound. As you can see. Right. And the last option is, of course, uh, you can trigger the sample only from the sampler play button. So if you click on the keyboard, nothing happens. But if you click on the play button, that works. Okay. Next option is about if the, if the loop is permanent or if the loop stops when uh, you lift um, your finger. Okay, from the keyboard. So let's try the first one. Let's set it to, to loop like that. So if I hold my finger on the keyboard, and now let go. As you can see, when I let go, uh, the loop stopped. Now, if I change the loops um, setting, um, and I set it permanent, uh, the loop will continue to go even when I lifted my finger from the keyboard or lifted the keys up. Like this. Okay. The last um, uh, group of options, uh, um, start with stop. Um, it's about when the sample stop. So let's um, set in not to have a, a loop. Okay, the first option is um, the sample will uh, stop when it finish the play. Let's try. I'm purposely lifting up uh, my finger straight away. Now, if I change that to a stop when I lifted uh, my finger or last key up, um, first I hold. In this case, it will play the sample. But if I don't hold, the sample start stops straight away. This can be useful to do something like. Um, to do that kind of effect. So hopefully now um, those settings in the sampler are a little bit clearer and um, you can uh, make use of them to record uh, your uh, presets or waveforms that you can reuse in other applications. I hope you enjoyed and you find this useful. Thank you. Bye.